Hi and welcome to another episode. I think I have something really exciting today. We're gonna look after a bird that's rather, let's say, aggressive. I hope you're gonna have fun with that while I get beaten up. So I got the hint that there's a Kappa Kelly here in the forest and they're in heat now, so they're kind of aggressive. Four, four times? Four times the amount of testosterone. So we have to be careful for ourselves, but also for the bird. And I think we forgot our sticks because we have to bring a stick to keep it on distance. I also brought Anne so that if my photos are not so good, I can use, I can use her photos. <laughs> That's why I brought her, not because I'm scared. This is actually not the first time that I look after this bird. I've done this now three times, not in the same position though. I did it for the 250 subscriber special. I didn't say it because I just didn't find it. And if you haven't seen that, you can check that out after this video. And maybe you can consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel because that helps me out a great deal. It's a bit cold now. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's really nice evening light. And that's why I'm nearly glad that I didn't meet the bird on the other occasions because the light wasn't as nice as it is now. So if we get it in the right position, we can photograph it with backlighting or a nice evening front lighting. That's, that's both really good. I think we're getting really close now. And out of habit I start to get quieter, but it doesn't really matter with this bird. I think this bird is smelling me already. So we're just gonna wait in this nice spot see if the bird comes to us, because that's normally what happens. I got the D750 on my uh, telescope lens today, but if the bird shows up, I will later use the, D, the Z6 to film, of course. And then also take photos, but before then I don't really have to do that, so that I can still film myself. <laughs> So apparently we are in the right spot because there are a lot of Kappa Kelly droppings. We also have connections so we could look could look that up. Yeah. <laughs> and if you yeah, I'm going to show <laughs> you want you want to see it. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look that much for me it doesn't look that much different from geese, but apparently that's how it looks like. If you ever out and you're standing right in its home and you should maybe consider if you want to leave or not. So after observing this place for a bit longer we're pretty sure that we're in the bird's toilet so <laughs> at some point it has to come back right?
basically just waiting till the bird makes its move. Like a real bird. <laughs> Normally it's me going and looking after some animals and now it's kind of waiting around, talking, hope that the animal comes to us. It's a bit different also than sitting in a hide or something. <laughs> what should I do now? Uh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> I've never met a capacelli so close, <laughs> or <laughs> I never met a capacelli before. One you saw, one of the encounters was really close, and apparently it's just better to just run off, and then they slow down, because that was a bit too much for I guess the bird and for me. So if you ever met, meet one, better run, <laughs> just better run. Uh, he broke my stick actually, so I had to use my tripod to hold him a little bit at bay. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give me a like and if you're new here, maybe subscribe to the channel if you're into photography, outdoors, wildlife. Give me some feedback. If you have any comment, write it down below. Maybe join me on Instagram. I'm quite lonely there. And ring the bell if you subscribe, if you want to have notifications. I don't really have the bell on much. I just watch what I want to watch. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon, bye.